Hi guys, this is Karen. Welcome to another video. I wasn't sure I'm going to have the energy to shoot this video, but I really want to get rid of these things and put them where they belong. Empties belong to the bean and these are my empties and I want to empty this bean to the recycling or garbage depending on the product and create a new bean with new empties <laughs> so let's see what i have in my empties this time around okay so let's start with this guy this is by the ordinary nisiami 10 percent and zinc one percent so this guy here and well i don't know i'm not going to repurchase uh, maybe it's nice, maybe it's not nice. I didn't feel like it did anything to my skin. I kind of used it in the beginning quite a lot and then I stopped and I thought to myself, I don't know, I don't feel like it's doing anything. But I wanted to get, you know, to put it in the empty bin, so I used it up and now it's empty. But I'm not going to repurchase, I guess. Or maybe I do have a double in my stash i'm not sure maybe i have another one uh full that i will definitely use because i already have it but if i don't i will not go into repurchase i didn't feel like it did anything to my skin so near samid very nice uh affordable but i don't know okay this one i'm really glad this is over this is the la girl pro powder I didn't really like it. This is a hundred percent silica. I didn't notice it when I bought it on iHerb and I don't know, it didn't do wonders. I didn't feel like it set the makeup like it's supposed to be. This is a setting high definition setting powder. It didn't set my makeup, so it's not a setting powder. Yeah. Okay. So, didn't like it. Not going to repurchase for hundred percent, even if it's going to be for one dollar. Not going to repurchase. Didn't enjoy it at all. I just put it in my shop, my stash uh, for last week, and I finished it. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Next up, this guy by Gerard Cosmetics. This is a Slay All Day Setting Spray. This was in the scent Peach. I have another one in the scent cucumber which is somewhere in my drawers so i don't need to need to repurchase it's a very good setting spray has a nice scent to it a nice spritz to it i'm not sure i'm going to repurchase because i already have so many setting sprays that i need to finish but if i won't have if i need to buy a new setting spray i'll think i'll buy a new one maybe in a different scent it did a good job not the best setting spray of my life but it did a good job okay next up let's see what else we have here i have this one this is the radiant soul beauty balancing chakral cleansing oil and this is in a sample size and i need to buy the full size because this product is i'm speechless i love it so much it's uh, it's for removing the makeup, of course. So I'll use it on my skin when my skin is dry. I'll just rub it in, and it's even good for the eyes and the makeup just glides. Of course, I'm double cleansing, but this is the first stage, and I love this product. It has a very nice scent to it, and it doesn't dry my uh, face. It's really very very good and i love about it that i can remove my eye makeup with it now not in it removes the eye makeup but not for 100 percent i really need to go over and cleanse it a bit more but it does i do love it it does a good job <laughs> it's a good job and I, this is a sample size. I do recommend if you can buy sample size, always buy sample size. And then if you like it, you can repurchase. If you don't like it, you can either bin it or use it and then bin it. So 
and at least you're not wasting a lot of money now this guy is by l'oreal now this is in polish because i bought it in lady makeup this was the chuck royal mask if i'm not mistaken it's over i don't want to open it I guess it's going to be stinky but this is over um i do like it i think it did a good job but i'm not going to repurchase because l'oreal are not cruelty free but other than that it is a good product and it did a good job cleaning my face and i like it next up by the ordinary so this was the guy this is it I'm trying to show you the name because I cut it open. Okay, I'll read it. This is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA. Okay, maybe I can show you just this part, this part here. Um, I got it, I think, in a package from, I don't remember where, Asusu maybe. Um, it's not for my skin type. I didn't really like it. I didn't like it at all but I used it because I don't like throwing things away so I used it up definitely not going to repurchase and I don't recommend it for um, someone with my my skin type which is dry and mature skin so it does nothing maybe for 20 year olds it's doing a good job but not for me definitely okay now mascara this is by tony molly double needs this was also in my shop my stash of next week and well it's not over but it's gooey and gluey and dewy and disgusting and i think it's time to say goodbye the smell is okay but i don't know i think it's time to say goodbye i loved it very good mascara I have nothing bad to say about it, but nothing good. It's not the best mascara I have ever used. Uh, it's mascara. It coated my lashes. That's all it did. It did nothing more than that. So if you're looking for a mascara that will co uh, cover your lashes and coat them with color, then definitely go with this one. But other than that, it didn't do anything to my lashes. It didn't lengthen them. It didn't... I don't know. It didn't do anything else. So I'm not going to repurchase if you were wondering okay next guy from alba botanica this was the soothing sunscreen 45 spf and this is nice this is for the body a cute little package i bought it on iherb loved it very very nice Had a very nice scent loved it i've you know i will repurchase maybe if i'll need to buy more sunscreen but I really love using different kinds of sunscreens, so I don't know if I'll repurchase, but it is a good per product. What else do I have here? Well, this is something that I really, really hated and loved and hated. So a love-hate relationship. This is by a Israeli brand called uh, Katrina Organic. This is the facial sunscreen SPF 50. Now this is a mineral sunscreen so it's very hard to remove the white cast that you have on your face so on days that i'm wearing foundation it's not so bad but for days that i'm not wearing foundation i'm covered in white and i don't really like it so i used it only when i was wearing foundation and i'm not i don't know if i will repurchase maybe I don't know for now i have a lot of sunscreen so i don't need it but if i will need a new one this is a maybe maybe because it's not very affordable i think pretty stiff and i didn't like as i said the white cast but other than that it has a nice smell it's organic it's mineral what else do you need basically okay what else do i have here now this is by wet and wild this is the mega clear gel and brow mascara it's not really over but you know it turned out gooey and disgusting and ugh. it needs to go to the bin um it's okay but i'm not going to repurchase because i love the essence more than i love this one by wet and wild 
okay oops don't fall please okay i'll put you back in the bin okay now this guy is from ofra it's a liquid lipstick the shade is girl abroad a very beautiful shade but i have it for a very long time and it has a very disgusting scent to it and the worst thing about it that it glues my lips together when i use it it makes them dry and i don't like the feeling of it but the color is just it's a very beautiful color but i think they don't make it anymore it's discontinued so definitely not going to repurchase and what else do i have here okay this is by dr Bo no this is by dr botanicals this was the po pomegranate superfood regenerating sleeping mask such a long name for such a tiny product and i'm not going to repurchase i don't love it at all at all at all yeah i cut it open to get everything out but i'm not going to repurchase it i apply it and it dries and i feel like my face is completely dry and this is not what a sleeping mask is supposed to do it's supposed to hydrate your face so maybe it's good for someone who hasn't have who doesn't have a dry mature skin but for me this is not good at all stop falling please okay last four items okay this one from my shop my stash bin of course he had to fail this is the wet and wild photofocus eyeshadow primer loved it did a good job but i want to finish it because i have other eyeshadow primers that i want to use but really good job it has a tint to it so it covers everything you want to cover in your eyelids it's sticky enough a good product and affordable so why not this guy is from dermal logica this is the antioxidant hydrate hydra mist antioxidant hydra mist so this is a sample size from dermal logica this is really really nice i usually uh spray it on my face before i use my hyaluronic acid from the ordinary because you need to have a damp uh, face to apply the hyaluronic acid so i use this guy pretty nice i like it i don't know if i will repurchase because it's kind of expensive so i'm not sure i'm going to repurchase but it's very very nice oh, talking about dermalogica i have the special cleansing gel also it was a sample size can you see it focusing yeah also a sample size i like it it's a nice cleansing gel to clean my face when i'm doing my double cleansing this was the second step liked it i'm not sure i'm going to repurchase because it's very expensive but it is very very nice it has a nice scent to it oh my god i'm covered with black mascara okay last but not least this is it and you can't see anything because it's <laughs> cut open okay i'll try show it to you this is the ultra repair cream uh this is from uh, first aid beauty so this one was intense hydration for dry dry perched skin i don't know not for my dry skin definitely i didn't didn't like it at all and i have another one because i got it as uh you know in one of those packages i think it was in the asus pack a, a surprise package i have another one just like it i didn't like it at all it dried my face and didn't moisturize it it's supposed to be an ultra repair cream instant hydration for dry perched skin i have dry skin it didn't hydrate my skin big no no definitely not going to repurchase i have another one i will use it because as i said i don't like wasting my money on products so i don't know maybe i'll use it as a hand cream 
maybe it's good for the hands or as a body cream but it's not I'm not going to reuse it again as a face cream because I tried it and I don't like it well this is it well the bin is not empty because I have stuff in it that fell over and I have to clean myself because I have a black mascara all over me so this is everything I had in my bin for this time and well let me know did you try one of these products do you like them do you have something to recommend to me that I will try and give you my review let me know in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you all in my next video bye